everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be checking out the new Barry Avenue update which is two new houses. It says update number 31 the 20th of April 2024. There is a new black and white house and a new ultra modern house and some bug fixes so I say let's go ahead and check out this update. So we didn't get a new location to the airport yet, pretty sad, but we will get that soon hopefully. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out my channel because I have some videos which include some leaks and teasers on what the next big update could be. But yeah, that is not what we are here for today because today we're going to check out the new houses. So for that, I'm going to click on house and then go to houses, spawn, and then we will select the house. So like I said before, there's two houses. This is the first one. It's a free house. And the second one is this master villa. It is part of the game pass. So you have to buy that with Robux. And I do get why, because it is huge. And if every single person in this server would own it, the server would explode. It would glitch. It would lag. But this house is pretty cool. I'll check it out and I'll show it to you guys for those who don't own the game pass so that you can still see it. This is the first house. And this house is actually made by my friend Starxy. I'm so proud of him that he's got his own house in the game like it's such a big game and i'm so proud of starxy that he got his house in barry avenue you guys know starxy as i i starxy and i'm just very blessed to be able to tour this house which was made by him well the exterior was the interior was made by amber so let's go ahead and check this out there is two garages which give you a lot of space as you can see then moving inside there is a hallway with a very big and open floor plan there is a living room there is a dining area here with six chairs. So if you have a big family, then you can sit here with a lot of people. The kitchen is right here. It's a pretty long kitchen with a pantry here and a little corner section with a washing machine and a dryer. It's not really a laundry room as it's just like a little corner, but you get the idea. The kitchen is very long and you've got these big windows. And like I said before, the open floor plan lets you like it, it kind of makes you feel and breathe all the air in the space. This sliding door leads you onto the terrace as you can see but we'll get on that later i'll first show you guys the downstairs room which is right here and this is supposed to be a guest room i think there's a double bed there is a walk-in wardrobe here there is a huge sliding door as you can see which leads outside outside we have a trampoline there is a hot tub a swimming pool a sitting area a barbecue and a fireplace where you can sit with your family i'm gonna go ahead and go inside here and then go upstairs and show you the rest of the house so this is the staircase and upstairs there is four rooms. I'll start with this one right here, which is the master bedroom, I believe. It's got a balcony onto the little front porch area. Pretty cool. I feel like a king greeting his folk. Anyways, double bed with a walk-in wardrobe, which is right here. I'm sorry. You have these big windows which let in a lot of natural light for your clothes and then here is an ensuite with a double sink a bath no a shower excuse me a toilet and everything that you need so this is the master bedroom let's go ahead and move on to this room which is a guest bathroom pretty cute i love this and then next is the kids room which is so adorable look at this little tiny computer with the bunk beds i love how she made this and cute wardrobes too they also have their own balcony very cool and then the last room is right here which is tada a super super cute nursery i would like i want to sleep here every day this is very cute so that was the first house hope you guys like this i know this was kind of like a quicker tour but that's because the house that's coming now is humongous so let's click we're gonna change houses and we're gonna click on this villa Oh, can only spawn large houses on large plots near the- Oh yeah, true! For this house, you need to change your location. So we're gonna click move, and we're gonna have to move to a different area. So you see this area right here? This is like near the mountains. So you can either choose these plots there above, and then these on the other side because this plot requires a huge amount of space. We're gonna click claim and then normally it should load in now. And look, it loads forever because it's so big, but look at how big this house is. There's a three double garage. No, not double, it's just a three garage garage. And look what happens if you open them all at the same time. Imagine there's like luxurious cars standing here. So this really gives you a lot of space to store and stock up your cars. The house from the front looks 
so pretty. There is tiles here with water. It is huge. It's a huge front door. Let's go ahead and make our way inside and look at the modern vibe. I actually didn't know where to start when I first saw this house because it's so big, but mainly this is like um, a formal sitting room. The couches are huge. I didn't really pay attention to this, but look at just how big this area is. There is a huge dining area with a lot of light and then making our way here is where we have the kitchen area and this comes out at the garage. As you can see right here, there is a pantry here, pretty cozy. And then there's a downstairs. Oh, no, this is the laundry room. Yeah, the laundry room is right here. So it's all hidden behind a door. And then here we have the kitchen, which I just love so much. Look at the wooden details and the, the two micro microwaves ovens. So this is such a pretty kitchen with another space for chairs. There's even like a pool table inside. And let me take a look at the details. Look at this. We finally have, well, not finally, but we just have a pool table in Barry Avenue. And then at the back, there is the like living room which a TV which concludes a TV so it's like at the back of the house where you can just sit and relax with your family in private there is also a huge sliding door again which leads to the uh, look just look at how big this property is it's humongous like I said and there's a lot to show oh yeah this fireplace by the way is super cute now I'm gonna have to make my way to the whole other side of the house here's the staircase and then here there's two rooms this is the first room which is the master bedroom I think if not then it's the one upstairs but look at how big and long there is a bathroom here with a toilet here a bathtub a walk-in shower and then here we have a huge walk-in wardrobe. I think the master bedroom is actually upstairs because this one has like a, a gaming PC. Look at this, goes outside to the huge pool. And then let's make our way back because this is such a huge room. Here we have a guest room. It's just a normal room with a beautiful view on the front yard with a walk, like an ensuite. It's got a shower and a toilet. And this is just like hotel vibey. Look at the towels all rolled up. Now that we've seen that, it's time to go upst upstairs, not downstairs. And I will first show you the, no, I'm gonna save that for last because that is so cool. It's something we have never had before in Barry Avenue. I'm gonna start with this room, which is a little cute teen, like, um, no, not teen, a kid's room, which is so cute. Oh, they have a balcony, didn't notice that. So they have a balcony, it's pretty cute. And they also have their own little bathroom, which is kid themed. It is super cute, as you can see, all purple. And then across, wait, this is, oh yeah, it's another nursery, it's so cute. The only thing is there is no window in here, so your kid would have, well, kids don't actually pay attention to that, but this is another very cute nursery. And then here there is the master bedroom. And now for real, like I said, this is the, I, I lost my words. This is the ensuite, yeah, with a huge bath. It's just skincare products, toothbrushes, everything that you have is right here. And then here we have the walk-in wardrobe, which is two times bigger than the one downstairs. We've got shopping bags, clothes, everything. Very good for me, cause I have a lot of clothes. And then here we have the bed, we have a sitting area, we have a TV, we have a big balcony, as you can see. And, so that was the master bedroom, what we also have, and you guys will be shocked, because I was too when I saw it. I thought like, oh, there's gonna be another room or another guest, like, bathroom upstairs, but are you ready? Look. A cinema! It's a home theater. It's a home cinema that we just have. Look at this. Close the door. And you can actually sit here or either lay down, like, you can sleep. And look at when I put it on. Sorry. Look at this, it is huge. Now that just need more shows like TV, movies, series. But yeah, you can see here with your whole fam, friends, invite them. I just think it's so cool to have like an actual home cinema. So that was the big surprise. And without that being said, I think we have now finished this huge house. There is so much space in here. I think when you have a big family, this house will definitely be useful. But yeah, like I said, it costs Robux, but you get a lot of beautiful houses in that game pass too. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and when you subscribe, click the notification bell because this will always send you notification whenever I have uploaded a new video. So without further ado, see you in the next video.
Bye. Thank <laughs> you.